I almost made it without a cup of coffee. That would not have been good. You go grab your cup of coffee. Come right back here and we'll get started on seven minutes in the morning. So not only do I have a fantastic cup of coffee, I've got a great piece of raisin bread that my beautiful bride made for me. Oh, that's so good. Good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. This is the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy all the benefits of business ownership. I like that for an intro. It's kind of bleed over from the radio show a little bit. But as I have been back here, and over here on the big board, not really more on the big board, doing planning for 2018. Woo! Got some good stuff coming up for y'all. So uh, be sure and stay tuned for that. Hey, and the best way to do that, like and follow the page on Facebook. If you are listening on uh, iTunes, on your podcast catcher, that's fantastic. Love for you to do that. But head over to the Facebook page, like it, follow it. That way you get notified as great things come up like might happen tonight just saying um that's the best way to do that and the easiest way to find the right facebook page is to go to tomrigsby.com slash facebook that gets you to the unashamed nonconformist facebook page and you can do all the great stuff you need to do there in the short term the best way to stay plugged in is do what joe just did Drop a comment, say hi, let me know that you're watching. It doesn't even matter if you come in hours from now and you're watching the replay. Still leave a comment, let me know that you were here. That is always awesome. All right, so with that out of the way, I want to get back over here to um, to Reddit. There was a great, great, great little post over here on Reddit about staying productive. So this week we've been talking about um, confidence, your beliefs. Do you believe something's going to happen? Do you hope it's going to happen? If you believe it's going to happen or you want to believe it's going to happen, what steps can you put in place to make sure that it happens? And the post over on Reddit that I was referencing, I'll put a link down in the comments to that. Um, but the, the question was about, um, really the question was about productivity. He was talking about ways that he had kind of cracked the code in 2017 to be more productive than he was, uh, last year. So, but it got me to thinking about, um, us and our time together. And <clears throat> so I want to put one question out there to you and then I'm going to answer it in a, in a different way. So the question is, are you more productive? Are you creating the results you want this year better, faster, easier than you did last year? Are you creating the results this year better, faster, easier than you did last year? If you're not, we've got some stuff to work on. And we are going to talk about that tonight, actually. I'm going to talk about that tonight. Here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be um, a little different. It's not exactly a webinar because I'm going to run it on right here on Facebook Live. I'm going to work it like a webinar. You guys can join me. You can ask questions. You can leave comments. I'll incorporate all that. You can watch it live the whole time it's running. And then, as soon as it's done, I'm going to take it down. So, if you want to watch it live, watch it live. You'll be able to see the replay. I'm just going to put it, uh, I'm going to make it prettier and then put it on the website and uh, have that in a couple of days. But, you need to be here to watch it live because I'm going to talk through uh, something I hadn't talked through in, I don't think I really used it at all this year. Um, it's more from a year or two ago called my uh, vision-based framework. And it's a way to cast a vision for your vision of success and then to set up the uh, goals, projects, and tasks that actually get you there. So I'm just going to walk through that walk through some of the steps, help give you some seeds for thought for defining those things, uh, maybe even a worksheet or two to help you do that. And this is, well, I'm, I'm doing it now. I had, had two big questions last night. So I had the opportunity to go to co-working night last night. 
Uh, if you live in Huntsville, you're not going to co-working night on Wednesday nights, you're missing out. Um, the two questions I got a- at least a dozen times each is um, how do you deal with overwhelm and and just so much going on and oh my gosh, the year's almost over. I didn't make any of my goals. What am I going to do for next year? So guess what we're going to talk about? We've already been talking about overwhelm and burnout. You guys are way ahead of the pack. So uh, it is getting to be that time of year. And I don't want, look, a lot of people, and I know Joe is one that doesn't believe in in, uh, uh, New Year's resolutions. He believes in constant improvement, I think. Isn't that right, Joe? Um. But what, what most people do, and look, raise your hand. I mean, be honest. Raise your hand if you've done this. It's New Year's Eve, and you're like, oh, man, what's my New Year's resolution going to be? What, what's yours going to be? Now, I want you to put some thought into it. Be what? Yes, be intentional. Be intentional about the outcomes you're trying to create. Let's Let's cast a solid vision of what those outcomes are, set a solid plan to get there, and then execute on that plan. That's what we're going to work for. Yeah, and yeah, Joe's constant improvement. I and I look. I agree with you, Joe. I agree with you. This is it's one of those milestone points where a lot of people are doing this. So let's help a lot of people make an improvement. Kick off the new year right. So join me tonight. I'll probably do that around seven o'clock tonight. If you like the page, and then click on the little follow bell to be notified. Facebook will do the rest. It'll let you know. So um, so I kind of gave you a teaser of what that basic format is. Understand the vision. Understand the goals. Break the goals down into projects and tasks. But it's underpinned by something special and then wrapped in something you have to do 100 times a day. So join me again tonight, 7 o'clock. Oh, man, 7 o'clock. That's the perfect time, isn't it? 7 o'clock tonight, we'll go through that. Uh, and then I'm anticipating that I'll have some good stuff as a result of that to share with you guys uh, in the morning. Constant, never-ending improvement, says Joe. Accomplish and move on to the next level. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I think that's a great point. Accomplish and move on to the next level. And I think, and I, and Joe and I have talked about this a lot, and i I'm pretty sure, reasonably sure, he doesn't mind me picking on him a little bit about this. But the only thing that we see different about that is that, I mean, I agree with that uh, with that principle. I think the challenge for a lot of people is being able to see the next thing before they get to this thing. Or maybe you can see number two, but you can't see three, four, and five. And um, for a lot of people in this, I, I run into this, all the time, all the time. I, I uh, recently had a coach a client that was working on a huge project and was overwhelmed by the project. And I said, okay, well, let's break it down into, into some projects that you can get your head wrapped around. I mean, we, we see the elephant and we're saying, oh, man, I can't eat the whole thing, right? We, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So, and he, that's really my only my only pushback on that is, um, and and I think I know what you would say to that. I mean, we've talked about it enough. I'm pretty sure that uh, that I know is yes. So once you get to that one, then you can see the next one, then set the next one, and keep moving. And that, and honestly, I was having this conversation last night. I think that's one of the things. And look, I know, look, I know that you guys watch other people, even if it's just. Eric, you know, but uh, there are other people that you follow online. Here's a critical question I want you to ask of everybody uh, that you watch, that you follow, that you get your information from. What are they doing to help move you along? I mean, it's really easy to put information out, and uh, I won't say it's easy to do a show every day, but, but saying here's what you should do, that's one thing. What are they doing toward, for accountability and, and to help move you along? Because that's what, and, and, you know, again, on the big board over here, and to some extent, I've already got tasks up on the, on the 
on the scrum board back there. That's what. I, that's how I want to be different. I want you guys to help hold me hold me accountable to that. I want to help move you along, not just have a nice conversation every morning. I enjoy that, but I want you to move along, move down the road, and get your uh, achieve the outcomes that you're looking for. All right, Joe says envision as you improve, write it down and use it after you have compiled. Yeah, I agree with that. Completed the goal at this time. So yeah, as you move you're constantly developing that vision. I like to say it's like, you know, walking up a hill. As you get to the top of the hill, you can see a little better over the hill and see what's in the next valley. You can see what's further down the road. And as you see that, you can make decisions about where you want to go. Write that down, finish the task at hand, and then move on to that. All right. Wow, would you look at that? We're over 10 minutes. So Joe also says, I follow individuals that increase my own thought process and increase my mental capacity. Flat conversations hurt both if they're stagnant. You know? <laughs> okay, I didn't mean it that way, Eric. Eric, no, Eric's giving me a hard time for promoting his show. Even if it's also Eric. And it's just the two of us. How about that? Is that better? Does that help you? Uh, yeah, actions are better than I'm going on a random date, Keith says. Yep, I couldn't agree with you more. All right, that's it. Hey, remember, check out Eric's show, 9 o'clock. Put the link in there, Eric, so people can <laughs> can come over and watch you. Uh, that's it for today. Remember, like and follow so Facebook will do its job tonight around 7-ish and uh, you can get on that live feed also. Um, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Tomorrow's Friday. That makes it free coaching Friday. If you have a question, comment, or something you'd like for me to follow up on from this week, send me a note, message, email, whatever the case may be. I'll uh, take those and build some content for you tomorrow. All right, that's it. Today's Thursday, thankful Thursday. What are you thankful for today? Tell them. It needs to be a them. Tell them you are thankful for them. I'll see you tonight about 7 o'clock, and again tomorrow about 7 o'clock. Hey, we're about 12 hours apart. You guys have a great Thursday, and I'll talk to you later.